then baiting the Northwoods and it could be taking a toll on your yard. Good evening, I'm Jade Henschel. We spoke to experts to find out how you can spot infestation on your ash trees. News 9 Sabrina Lee joins us from Rim Mountain with more. Here in Rib Mountain, there are piles of ash trees being cut down as a way to try to stop the spread of the emerald ash borer. Unfortunately, the same thing is going to be happening in Tomahawk as the pest moves northward. The emerald ash borer, you probably recognize the name, the little gem colored beetles that tend to bring death and destruction to ash trees. First discovered in the Badger State in the early 2000s, the invasive species is native to Asia, but they had been seen in the Midwest for at least a decade or so before they were discovered right under our noses. So for more than a decade, people were accidentally moving this unknown insect around the lake states in the Midwest inside firewood or nursery stock or logs, not realizing we have this hidden green tree killer lurking in our midst. And now they've moved up to the north woods. The city of Tomahawk realized their trees were infected last fall, but the beetles were likely there far earlier. Uh, so when you start noticing signs, the tree has probably already been infected for a year or two before it starts to show symptoms. Now the city has elected to cut most of their public ash trees down in an effort to keep the insects from spreading. So yes, what we will be doing will be proactive and reactive at the same time. We'll be reactively taking trees that are already noticeably infected and in decline, as well as taking trees that do not look to be in decline, but are more than likely infected already. So how do you tell if your tree is infected? Browning of leaves, um, definitely, like I said before, dieback. So you'll see branches without leaves. Um, and on the trunk of the tree, you might notice um, little areas that look like a checkered pattern that's called flecking and that's actually birds trying to get to the insect inside of the bark. They say if you see any signs of infection, be sure to call a professional to have them take a look and see exactly what your options are going forward. In Rib Mountain, I'm Sabrina Lee, News 9, WAOW.